what's good youtube it's your boy mac and i'm back for another video so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys my week three progress update um basically i just been brushing with my medium and my soft brush my royal tees the flat ones and uh yeah for christmas i'm getting two new brushes two torino pros so um when they come i'm gonna do a review on them um basically I just stopped using the Curlin Style Milk by uh, Shea Moisture because I was I was using it and I was feeling like it wasn't curling up my hair too much. Although it was curling it a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like my Curlin Hands Smoothie does a, does a little bit better of a job. So I'm going to use this on short hair. I know my hair is woofing, woofing, and I'm starting to get that over curl. I use this because it don't over curl it too much. But it's a nice moisturizer. Um, now the differences in the two, it's the same main ingredients. Uh, you know, coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil is the two, is the three in the box on each of them. So, you know, it's pretty similar. The only thing I could say is the curling hands smoothie gets all white in your hands when you rub it together. The other one does not. It just stays like oily. Um, uh, this one's a little bit lighter. I don't feel like it makes my head um, doesn't build up as quick. But right now, I have curling enhancing smoothie is the only thing in my hair right now. So let me get to this un, un uh, unragging. Now, I don't know how, you get, how good you guys could really see it because I had just put in moisturizer. Let me get up to the light. Now, this is what I'm working with right now. Now, my waves is getting in there. You know my waves is getting in there. But, um, yeah, basically, my waves are getting back. I got to put that brush to work. I have just a product in about a half hour ago. So, it's still fresh in my hair. That's the reason why the waves aren't really popping like that. Um, I, I brushed in my product with the medium brush and then the soft brush as well for probably about, like, 30 minutes. I was brushing it in for um, haven't been using any oils. Uh, if I was using any, the only oil I have right now is coconut oil, and that's why I am not using it. Coconut, I found coconut oil. I found is very good for my skin, my dry skin. But with my hair, it seems to just not really change. It, it makes it oily. It don't absorb into my hair well. Is what I'm trying to say. So basically, it like. It'll just stay on the top layer. Even no matter if I scramble it in there or not, it don't absorb in. No matter how little I use, how much I use, it doesn't absorb in. Um, so my hair just doesn't take to it. My skin, on the other hand, likes it. So I use that for my skin. Um, pretty pretty uh, good stuff. You know, if it works for your hair, it works for you. A lot of people it doesn't work for. Um, now, products that have coconut oil in it. Oh, my God. Coconut oil products are the best, in my opinion, when they got that little bit of coconut oil in them, mixed in with some other oils and some uh, shea butter and stuff like that. Yeah, that's some nice stuff, but the the style milk, I could show you guys a little comparison. The style milk is like thin tight. Let me show you how it looks like when I rub it together. All right, so I, I only grabbed out a little bit. I'm not crazy about these squeeze bottles. But I only grabbed out a little bit, right? If I rub it together, it gets white like that. But look, it don't get like pasty like the Crown Hansy Smoothie does. You see that? You can't really. It just gets kind of oily on my, on my uh, hair. It smells really good. Um, now the I will say smell difference is like the Crown Hansy Smoothie has a really um. Let's see has a really sweet smell to it and this one does not have a super sweet smell it's got more of a coconut smell not bad oh i dropped both of them um you know not bad it's not really bad that one of them is sweet smell and one of them isn't i like both of the smells both smell pretty good to me now the one negative i could say about the curling style milk again is doesn't curl it up as more as much uh but it's also thinner which i like 
because I could apply it more frequently without having that crazy buildup. I just did a wash and style method last night at, let me see, like 6.30. I hadn't unragged until this morning at like 3, 4 when I got off of school and I was all done working out and everything like that. So look, if you guys are working out, right, let me tell you something. This is a pro tip, right? Wear your do-rag, maybe even two when you're working out. Now, when you get done working out, don't just take off the do-rag. Oh, I'm done. No, bro. When you're done working out, leave the do-rag on for like at least an hour, bro. And so, because, you know, you're sweating and everything. Wait until the sweat all dries up. Um, You know, I, I'm going to show you guys the back of my head, too. I don't know how it's looking, how how good you guys can see it, but uh, basically my back of my head waves is looking really nice, connecting nicely and everything like that. The top is looking all right too for week, I think it's like week three. Um, it's looking pretty good for week three. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, yeah, you know it's just it's just um it is what it is, you know. Uh, the, the process is slow. It takes a lot of time, but I cannot wait until I perfect this pattern on top, on the sides, on the back. And I'm not shifting no more. I'm working crown work lately. Been working crown work this whole thing, this whole uh, wolf. So far, there's three weeks. I haven't really brushed too much, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Last week, I was on vacation. And, um, well, not last week. Two weeks ago, I was on vacation the week after I got my hair cut. And then after that, you know, I didn't really brush whole vacation. And then I got back. I was like, I'm not going to really brush too much. So this week, I'm really getting into it. Uh, I've been brushing yesterday night. I brushed for two hours. Today, it's like 7 o'clock right now, 7.30. I have already brushed for an hour already today. So I'm going to put in another hour tonight. And boom, that's my two hours a day. That's what you got to do if you want your crown to look good and everything like that. I say work crown work during your session. So, you know, when you brush your hair and it messes up the crown, it moves it. Fix it right then. You don't want your crown to move. My crown was off center to the right. It's going towards the middle. I don't want it to keep moving. So I'm fixing it as I go instead of fixing it later on. Um, so if you don't know, your crown is very, your crown is hard to move. But once it moves, it stays there, right? Or keeps going in the direction it's going. And so I seen one dude had a, his crown was moving up on the side of his head. Now, how do you do that? How do you brush a 360 pattern from here? I don't understand it. I don't understand how your crown can move that much. It stays in the back of your head normally. Um, you know, it will shift when you're brushing. And then people go to fix their crown and fix the line that comes from the crown. Fix it like it's their crown, now it's over here. That's what happens to people. So I say just fix your crown right when it messes up. You should always be looking in the mirror and then another mirror behind you so that you can see every different angle. If you are not doing that, go get yourself a mirror. You can get one from Beauty Supply. You can get one from Dollar Store. You can get yourself one from Walmart, one of the ones with a little handle. The one that I have is like a big one like this with two foam handles on it. It's big. You know what I'm saying? Like this big. So I can see everything in it. I could really see everything. Um, I actually broke a mirror last night. Now, when you're doing your washing styles, I don't suggest you use a mirror with a plastic handle now. I've learned this from experience now twice. I should have learned my lesson the first time. Now, I have the foam one, right, that I was just telling you about. It's big. I don't use that for my washing styles because the foam gets wet the, with the soap and everything flying around, the water flying around. It gets a little bit wet sometimes, damp. And then it feels like squishy, more squishy for like a day and a half until it's fully dry again. And I don't like that feeling. It makes me nervous that the handle's just going to split right off. And then I'm just going to be stuck with a big sheet of mirror. I don't like that. So I use my little one. It's like this big. A little handle. It looks like a little lollipop. I use that during my washing styles normally. Now last night, I was in a rush doing the washing style quick. Um, you know, I was trying to get down for dinner because I had started up my washing style and they started making food and around the same time. And then, you know, it was taking a minute. So I was doing the washing style, trying to hurry up with it. And uh, I'm brushing. I got soap all over my hands, soap all over the mirror, slipped right out of my hand, fell on the ground and cracked into pieces. So I had to clean that up. Um, 
use use a use a mirror with like make sure you're wiping your hands too make sure you have your towel right here around your neck wiping your hands off just like that wiping off your brushes wiping off your mirrors and i see a lot of people wasting shampoo when the shampoo gets on the brush you're about to rinse it out with the dragon go like this with the brush and squeeze all the shampoo out each different way you can go right each different way you can go and now you've got a big glob of shampoo in your hand so it's a good lather now you rub it together a little bit rub it in your hair rub it in your hair and rub it good to lay down all the extra frizz then you throw in the do rag get to rinsing it out and then double compress i say triple compress is what i've been doing lately triple compress for like so say you i don't suggest you guys triple compress or wear a uh, a wave cap to sleep now you can wear a wave cap during the day but if you sleep with it on it's gonna give you a massive headache when you wake up sometimes i've even noticed it flies off when i'm asleep and my other durag underneath actually gets loosened from it so i suggest you guys wear do you wash this towels like 5 30 6 o'clock wear it for two hours three hours then take it off and go to sleep now I suggest you have two, the do-rag that you rinse with, another do-rag on top, and a, a boo-boo cap or a wave cap on top of that. Then you take the boo-boo cap off after a couple of hours, and then you leave the other two on your, on your head for uh, all night. Then you wake up in the morning, get your morning brush session, then you take it off, you brush. That's what I suggest. Now, my waves right now, they kind of disappear. I can still feel my hair is really moist, really uh, moisturized, so... When your hair is like that, it's going to be a little bit straighter. Just because water and everything like that with hair. But our type of hair is not great. But I'm sorry on the on a, uh, one upload last week. I'm going to do two this week. Another one is coming on Wednesday. So just hold out for that. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video. And I'll catch you.